Welcome back to Digging Wyoming. We've done a previous video on dinosaur bones and fossils and identification. We wasn't real happy with the way the resolution came out on it. So we're going to do another one a little more in-depth up close and show you a little more what to look for when you're out in the field if you're wanting to find fossils and dinosaur bones. Because you, you're not going to walk out there and just find dinosaur bones laying on the ground. You, you're going to have to do a little investigating, bring some stuff home, clean it up, decide what, you know, what, what's a bone, what isn't, throw it out, keep it. Here's a pile right here, and we pretty much found this out in the field laying just like this. And it looked like, it looks like bones. So that, that's what drew it to us, and we picked it up and started investigating it. You can see how the bone is cracked. You can see the cell structure inside the bone. Like I say, we pretty much found this laying just, just like this on the ground. I'll kind of roll it here for you so you can see how, how the bones have cracked and they, they mineral, where the bones have cracked, they've filled in with mineralization. Here's just some random pieces of bone. And keep in mind, when, when we find this stuff out in the field, a lot of times it has got a lot of dirt caked in it. So if you see something like that, go ahead and bring it home, clean it up, take a better look at it, and you, you'll, you'll find some bones out there. If, if you're in a location that has actually got dinosaur bones and, and fossils like that, now this one here was really unique when we found it. it. It too had a lot of dirt caked in it, but it was unique because of the colorization in it, the texture. It just it just spoke to us that, that this, this was something other than just your regular rock. We brought it home, we cleaned it up, we went ahead and cut it to see what was on the inside. And lo and behold, you could see the bone structure in it you can see the cell structure and I'll roll this here for you you, you can tell where actually what, what if something ate, ate this or bit into it and this is the meat and it actually agatized red like you would think the the meat would and here on the outside you can see the skin, that the actual out, outside of the uh, the bone. It was a re really unique piece, kind of, kind of a maybe a one, one once in a lifetime find. This piece here is the same way. When we found it, it was laying in the ground like this, but just the. The, the, the way the stone was curved like this, you, you don't really find a lot of stuff like that laying around. So we pulled it out, we brought it home, we cleaned it up, and found a tooth in the other side. And the tooth is agatized. It, it's broke, of course. But you can see the tooth. I'll, I'll spin this around so you can take a look at it and the jaw structure to it and if you turn it over you could you could see the the bone structure in here too and here's another piece of bone that is agatized and made some some nice designs in it and you can see see the bone structure on the outside this one here Pretty much this looks like a rock. You look at it, that's that's just a rock. But we got got to looking at it, and you can see some mineralization and stuff going in, going on there. So we brought it home and we cut it, and we actually got a, quite a few slabs off of this. And once we cut it, you can see the cell structure inside of it and there's mineralization going on in there and here's one of the slabs 
and you can see the cell structure and where, where the bone marrow and stuff would have been really real, really nice piece of it this was a, a big piece of bone but like I say just looking at it like this that's that's just a rock it you, you really couldn't tell you got you got to kind of look re really look at stuff real close this here is corporalite don't dinosaur poo and we kind of have fun taking the nieces and the nephews out and stuff to look for bones and fossils and have them pick up their first piece of corporalite and let them know after they've got it picked up they're, they're actually holding a piece of dinosaur poop in their hand they kind of get a kick out of it but this piece I don't know if this light's going to help any or not has is all agatized blue agatized on the inside I don't know if you can see that or not and if we actually cut this piece it would probably be really pretty blue um, white opal it'd be a really 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 pretty piece if we cut it here's a piece that we did cut and you can see what the outside of it looks like this one didn't really ag agitize too much on the inside And a lot of them will opalize on the inside. You'll get reds, you'll get purples, you'll get blues. They're real, really pretty to look at. And you can see some mineralization along this edge here. And then we got some gastroliths here. A lot of people ask about them. And they're, they're all nicely polished. These were in the bellies of plant-eating dinosaurs. Just like if you've ever raised chickens and they'll walk around and they'll eat pebbles to go down in their gizzard to help grind up their food. And they end up real polished like this. And the way we find them is you'll, you usually find these in uh, sandstone areas, limestone areas, where there's no other rocks like this around. Not very many anyway. Especially polished like this. You just don't come across nat naturally polished rocks like this out in the middle of nowhere. And if you find a whole big pile of them all, all together, look around, you'll probably find some bones around that. Because that's where a dinosaur died. And it left that, that whole deposit of the gastroliths that was in its stomach right there. So you'll you'll probably find some bones around that. Next we're going to move on to petrified wood. Here's a real nice piece that Bradley brought home from work. It's pretty heavy. It's, it's fully agatized. I'll, I'll roll it roll it here for you and you can see in the inside there it's got some reds going on and a lot of the the honey brown that, you, that you'll see with a lot of the petrified wood it's a really nice piece this, this is probably four or five pound piece of agatized wood here this piece here Bradley tells me was a deposit that had filled that ended up filling up it kind of looks like you, you might think uh, petrified wood would look but it was actually a deposit that filled up with silica and turned turned into agate well uh, maybe a hole in the ground uh, uh, if a rodent or something had, had dug a hole and then uh, the silica had, had filled it up 
and there's there's a quite a bit going on on with this piece if we if we really cleaned it up and and looked at it but we did cut this piece and you can see the real nice agate on the inside here's another piece of petrified wood that we've got and we cut this piece too here it, it ain't polished up or anything but you can kind of see what it looks like on the inside and we do have polishers and quite a few rock saws and stuff that we do a lot of cutting and polishing with and I'll show you some of the the fossils and stuff that we find I imagine that was probably sitting on the bottom of an ocean at, at one time and these were maybe little sea critters that ended up getting petrified in this piece of mud here and here's kind of a interesting one where not, not real sure what that was I mean it got Kind of looks like maybe the inside of a nut or something. But it's just just in a piece of sandstone there. Here's a piece of coral. And we find quite a bit of stuff like this. A lot of shells and you can see the impressions of where where shells were in there some more shells that we we picked up along the way and the mineralization that forms in in between them Some more little fossils that are that fossilized in the mud of maybe bottom of a pond or a shallow sea. There's some more shells here. That's a pretty good one there. Pretty full shell. And these next pieces, there's certain spots we can go to and find these this by the hundreds. And my understanding is they're actually pieces of oyster. And these are just the, the ends of the oyster, you know, where, where they would have closed like that, and the rest of the shell is done sloughed off. It, it's gone. But you, you can find these little pieces of them just by the hundreds and usually in the same location you, you can find a a lot of these these little spikes here and these are almost, almost kind of opalized on the outside but you could you could find these by the hundreds too and just just other little fossilized bits here and, and, and a lot of this was on the shallow sea that did cover a lot of Wyoming here you, you, you can find a lot of a lot of these around too stay tuned we're, we're gonna have an, uh, more videos for you on some gems and coin collecting we're gonna try, try to do a little bit of everything around here Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.